This is James Holder for IFL TV in association with Matt Cleans, Jim Marbella. I'm at the press conference today for Derek Chisora versus Tyson Fury 2. With me I've got Derek's trainer Don Charles. What's happening Don? Everything's always good at my end. I always ask you how are things at your end? Do you know what? Things are getting better. Everything's been alright. The last couple of months have been quite productive and mm. yeah, life's alright. I'm, I'm really glad to hear it because um, I know uh, the amount of time you guys put into what you do and uh, it's always um, rewarding when you get the uh, uh, when you get the, the chances to uh, for the work you put in. It's really nice of you to say that. I appreciate that, sir. Let's talk about a little bit about your work with, with Derek Tazora. How, how would you assess he is now? How is his fitness at this moment in time? Ah, the fitness is very good. Um, see that guy's here? See my man. Yeah, the fitness is always very good, you know. We have to, it's a way you have to measure it now to be able to, to get it right, you know. Uh, so you don't want to peak too soon. Remember, after all the many, many hours they put in for the last uh, preparation, which um, the fight didn't happen, uh, that fitness is still all in there, but you have to know how to manage it so you don't, you don't break the fighter. Last time out, you had the likes of Marius Wacko with the sparring. Um, could you talk to me a little bit about who you'd be bringing in this for? Well, the same personnel, because that was the perfect spar. In fact, it was the best uh, sparring partners we've had for any, any pr even when we fought for the, uh, Derek fought for the WBC title, um, the, the, the personnel we, we brought in for that, this, this is far more, more, uh, more advanced and uh, much better. So, yes, it will be more or less the same, uh, the same group of uh, par sparring partners we'll be bringing in. You once told me you was in danger of dropping out the elite division with Derek. Mm -hmm. Where do you feel you guys are now, metaphorically? Well, he's, he's the current um, European champion, Derek Chisora, so that speaks for itself, it speaks volumes. Um, we're still, this fight, it's almost like ev every fight, uh, you're on a relegation <laughs> zone, yeah? And I will, I will not fall away from We're in a better place than we were last time we spoke, because my, my guy is the current European champion. He holds two other belts as well, WBO and WBA international um, belts. So we're in a better place than last time we spoke, but nevertheless, this fight, again, it's a must-win fight, okay? Because for a lot of reasons. Every fight is a must-win fight, uh, this one in particular. For the first fight between Derek Chisora and Tyson Fury, you notably put your hands up and took a lot of responsibility off Derek for A, his conditioning, and, and B, for his performance that mm -hmm. night. Mm -hmm. how, how do you think he's changed since then? He seems to be a lot more mobile. Do you think the experience of, of the fighters he's been in with it's really made him knuckle down and take things a lot more seriously. Well, most definitely, you know, all the losses we've had in the past, we've you have to learn from your mistakes. Mm -hmm. You know, um, we've learned from it. Uh, him as a fighter, myself as a, as a coach and my team. Like I said, I don't train Derek alone. There's a number of people, of the conditioners, the, the nutritionists, yeah. you know, um, the physios, you know. There's a, a, a team uh, around uh, Chisora that, that helps, aids him to, to do what he does. And we've all grown, we've all learned, you know. So uh, we've come a long way. We've come a long way to where we are today. We've, we've all, it's almost like, almost like this is the second, second time around, you know. We've, we've been to the top. When you've contested for the WBC title, which we have done so, we, we failed uh, to win it. But we've, what we've learned from it, the experience we've gained from it, serves us in a, in a, in a good way. It will serve us really well in our quest to this time, second time around. Derek seems to be throwing a lot more body shots I think, in his last probably three, three outings and stuff. Do you think that's the key to beating Tyson Fury? That's the key to beating um, uh, anyone, whether you're a lightweight or uh, heavyweight. Uh, the body shots, uh, body shots are very important and that's my speciality as a coach. Yeah, I insist on my, whether you're a straw weight, yeah, break the body because once you've broken the body, the head will follow. What did you make of Tyson Fury turning up at the press conference today with a tape? across his mouth and what seemed to be a message written for the British Border Control, which obviously was just question marks. Make, make from that what you mean. Yeah, look, look uh, when I say Tyson Fury is good for the business, yeah? He's good. We're talking about it because of his antics, yeah? Um, the tape thing's been done. It's not original. Muhammad Ali did it when he fought Sonny Liston. Um, people were calling that he was a madman. He needs to get his head examined. Again, he turned up to a press conference, if you remember right, go back yeah. in history. He came, uh, Ali turned up with a, a, a lasso taper across his mouth. So it's been done before. Me being an old person and a historian. I've seen the picture of it. It's an old yeah. iconic image. So that's it? basically about the same type of thing. Because he was being accused at the time, Ali, that he talks too much and he's a madman. 
he said, okay, cool. Um, he turned up with a, with a tape uh, of it. So it's been done before. Uh, with the message to the board, the board are there to govern, yeah, to officiate and let people get in out of control. Um, uh, if you remember right, not so long ago, my own fighter, Derek Chisora, was, gonna come was, was, was going through the same thing which yeah. Tyson is going through now. Yeah. Derek has learnt from it, yeah. yeah? There's only so many fines one can pay. He's still an enigma though, isn't he, Derek? Oh, most definitely. I mean, he, he, listen, my wish has been granted from day one. I've always wished as a trainer. I don't just train Derek, I life coach him, yeah? And now I've, people might be saying, you haven't done a very good job in the past in the sense that life coaching someone and it got up to some of the things he got up to, yeah? I mean, he got a ban for crying out loud. At one stage, we got more than a fine. We got a fine and a ban, yeah? yeah? I remember so, the Luxbox days. Those exactly. Interesting days. Exactly. So, Derek, yeah. when I look at Tyson now, very, it reminds me so much of what Chisora used to be a few years ago. Um, and hopefully, Tyson too will learn and snap out of it and grow up and, uh, and, and just just do the fighting rather than all the antics. Lots been made about Tyson being unpredictable, but you're kind of forgetting you're, you're always on eggshells when Derek's here, aren't you, to a certain extent? Oh yeah, Derek has learned through his anger management. Like He's not joking when he says he's been having anger management. <laughs> um, he's not, because I, I've witnessed... I thought he was joking. No, 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 him. seriously. We had to book him in, in, uh, into sessions to, 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 to help out. You know, to, to be able to control his uh, think first mm. before you act, yeah. right? That's what, he's, that's what you're seeing in him, that he thinks before uh, acting um, erratically and uh, acting in, on impulse. Um, Has he trained today already? Did yeah, he? yeah, we, we did. We, he, seemed, we, he seemed a bit tired, a little bit subdued in the press. I don't know yeah, I mean, because the guy always gives me what I want in the gym. We've been this morning, mm. we've done our training. Mm. Um, we've got another session tonight, a uh, different type of session tonight. Um, you know, hence why, it, it, listen, a lot, including Tyson Fury. These athletes, you know, because this is, this is not tennis. Even if it was tennis, the tensions will still be there. This is fight. This is a fight. I always point, make it a point. It's a fight. He, as Ricky Hatton will say, you're not playing tidd tiddlywinks here, right? <laughs> it's a fight, you know? <laughs> I had to do something, but I didn't know what. There you go. <laughs> He's a funny guy. Uh, would that be Mr. Coogan Cassius by any it chance? It would be indeed. Yeah. He's a funny man. Yeah. He's a funny man. But I mean, listen, all right, it's great to catch up with you. As I said, I can chat to you a lot more, but no doubt other mm. members of the press will have a little word with you and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Thanks for giving me a bit of time, mate. It's always a pleasure, James. And I look forward to catching you again real soon. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Doc.